The Moscow Constantinople Schism of 1996 was a schism which began on 23 February 1996, when the Russian Orthodox Church severed full communion with the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, and ended on 16 May 1996 when the Russian Orthodox Church and the Ecumenical Patriarchate reached an agreement. This excommunication by the Russian Orthodox Church was done in response to a decision of the Synod of the Ecumenical Patriarchate to re-establish an Orthodox Church in Estonia under the Ecumenical Patriarchate's canonical jurisdiction as an autonomous church on 20 February 1996. This schism has similarities with the Moscow Constantinople Schism of October 2018. On the 8th of November 2000, in an official statement, the Russian Orthodox Church described this schism as the tragic situation of February to May 1996, when, because of the schismatic actions of the Patriarchate of Constantinople in Estonia, Orthodox Christians of the Churches of Constantinople and Russia, who live all over the world in close spiritual contact, were deprived of common Eucharistic communion at the One Chalice of Christ. <laughs> Brief background Topic. Ecumenical Patriarchate's Tomos of 1923 In view of Estonian independence and the persecution of the Russian Orthodox Church, Bishop Alexander of Tallinn et asked the Patriarchate of Constantinople to receive his church into its jurisdiction. On July 7, 1923, Patriarch Melitios IV of Constantinople issued a tomos accepting the Estonian Church and granting it autonomous status. This tomos, established under the Ecumenical Patriarchate the Autonomous Orthodox Apostolic Church of Estonia known as Orthodox Metropolitanate of Estonia. The Russian Orthodox Church considers that Patriarch Miletius IV of Constantinople took advantage of the difficult situation of the Orthodox Church in Russia and illegally proclaimed jurisdiction of the Patriarchate of Constantinople on the territory of the independent Estonia and transformed the Estonian Autonomous Orthodox Church into the Estonian Metropolia of the Patriarchate of Constantinople. Exile of the Orthodox Metropolitanate of Estonia and 1978 deactivation of the Tomos In 1940 the Soviet Union annexed Estonia, after 1944, Metropolitan Alexander et then went into exile in Stockholm, Sweden, with 23 of his clergy and 7,000 lay people. The church based in Stockholm remained attached to the Ecumenical Patriarchate and served about 10,000 Estonian Orthodox exiles in various countries. After Metropolitan Alexander died in 1953, the Ecumenical Patriarchate consecrated a new Estonian Orthodox bishop, Yuri Valb, et, to oversee the Estonian church based in Stockholm. After his death in 1961, these Estonian parishes were placed under local bishops of the Ecumenical Patriarchate. On December 10, 1944, the Holy Synod of the Moscow Patriarchate promulgated the UKs to end the functioning of the Orthodox Church of Estonia and to create instead a new administration as the Diocese of Tallinn and Estonia. This dissolution took place effectively on March 9, 1945. The Orthodox Church of Estonia led by the Ecumenical Patriarch considers that t he autonomy of the Orthodox Church of Estonia, accorded in 1923 by the Oecumenical sick Patriarch Melitios, was abolished in March, 9, 1945 by force, unilaterally without respecting the canonical order and without informing the Oecumenical sick Patriarch about it nor waiting for his consentment. In a letter sent to the then Patriarch of Moscow Alexei II on 24 February 1996, the day after the excommunication, the ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew wrote that, "...the Patriarchate of Russia during those years trespassed in countries under the spiritual jurisdiction of the ecumenical Patriarchate, namely, Estonia, Hungary and elsewhere, always by the power of the Soviet army." The Church of Russia did not at the time seek the opinion of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, nor was any respect shown it. 
The annexation of the Orthodox Church of Estonia into the Most Holy Church of Russia happened arbitrarily and uncanonically. And it is certain that events which are uncanonical at one particular time are never blessed, never seen as efficacious, and never would they set a precedence. The Orthodox Church in Estonia was therefore incorporated into the Moscow Patriarchate after the Soviet annexation. In 1978, at the request of the Russian Orthodox Church, D U to the then existing political conditions and following the persistent request of the Patriarch of Moscow, and due to the circumstances of the times, as well as for the sake of smooth relations with the Patriarchate of Moscow, at which time Estonia still constituted a section of the then Soviet Union. The Ecumenical Patriarchate declared inoperative the 1923 tomos that had established the autonomous Estonian Church." On 13 April 1978, "...inoperative, but not invalid," later precede the Ecumenical Patriarch in the same letter. Due to demographic shifts, Russians made up the majority of the Orthodox population of Estonia by the end of Soviet rule. Topic: <inaudible> Post-Soviet period. Following the breakup of the Soviet Union and the renewed independence of Estonia in 1991, a dispute developed within the Orthodox community between those who wished to remain linked to the Moscow Patriarchate and those who sought the re-establishment of the Autonomous Orthodox Church under the Ecumenical Patriarchate. Lengthy negotiations between Moscow and Constantinople failed to produce an agreement. In 1991, after Estonia had broken away from the Soviet Union, the sovereignty of the Estonian Republic was restored. At the time, the ruling bishop in Estonia was Corneli Jacobs. He held negotiations with the government concerning a number of urgent internal ecclesiastical matters, which could not be resolved without state support. On the 11th of August 1993, instead of registering the representatives of the Russian Orthodox Synod, the Estonian State Department of Religions registered the representatives of the Synod of the Estonian Orthodox Church in Exile as the sole legal successor of the Autonomous Estonian Apostolic Church. That registration was of political and social importance because it made the Synod of the Estonian Orthodox Church in Exile the sole owner of all church-related immovable property in Estonia. The Russian Orthodox Church started legal proceedings to defend its legal and canonical position in the country, arguing, that the «Synod in Exile» had neither an episcopal structure nor an administrative office in Estonia, as required by Estonian law. In 1994, another unexpected event came to be added to the above. A petition signed by the representatives of 54 out of the 83 Orthodox parishes in Estonia formally requested to join the jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate. The 54 parishes represented the majority of the Orthodox believers in the country, and included both Estonian-speaking and Russian-speaking communities. A year later, a series of negotiations between the Ecumenical Patriarchate and the Russian Orthodox Patriarchate failed to reach a solution. Quote, quote, on 25 May 1995 Patriarch Bartholomew of Constantinople, while in Finland, made a broadcast appeal to the Orthodox believers in Estonia, in which he called them to «revive as soon as possible the Estonian Autonomous Orthodox Church in direct communion with the Ecumenical Patriarchate». On 3 January 1996, a delegation of the Russian Orthodox Church visited the Ecumenical Patriarchate in Istanbul for bilateral negotiations about the division among the Orthodox in Estonia. No agreement was reached, but the two sides agreed upon the continuation of the negotiations in Moscow on 2 February of the same year. On 4 January 1996, the Ecumenical Patriarch sent a pastoral letter to the Orthodox communities in Estonia, in which he expressed his desire to reactivate the autonomous Estonian Apostolic Church on the basis of the tome or decision of the Ecumenical Patriarch in 1923. The letter expressed the hope to unite all in one church with a distinct diocese for the Russian-speaking parishes. On 16 January 1996, a delegation from the Ecumenical Patriarchate, including one Finnish Orthodox bishop and one priest, visited Estonia in an attempt to reach a viable solution. They meet with representatives of the Moscow Patriarchate and the Estonian state authorities, including Prime Minister Tiit Vaha and the President Leonard Mary. 
After the meeting, statements were issued that the Ecumenical Patriarchate would accept Estonian Orthodox believers under its jurisdiction, but that it would also accept the division of the Orthodox community in Estonia into two parts and their belonging to two jurisdictions. History of the Schism The 20 February 1996 decision of the Ecumenical Patriarchate On 20 February 1996, "...following the persistent request of the Estonian government and the overwhelming majority of the Estonian Orthodox parishes, which requested they be placed again under the aegis of the Ecumenical Patriarchate." The Ecumenical Patriarchate decided to re-establish an Orthodox Church in Estonia under the Ecumenical Patriarchate's canonical jurisdiction as an autonomous church by Reactivati ing. the Tome of 1923 which had been issued during the tenure of Ecumenical Patriarch Melitios IV. On the 22nd of February 1996, the Ecumenical Patriarchate announced officially the decision to reactivate the Tome of 1923 and to re-establish the autonomous Estonian Apostolic Church. On the 24th of February 1996, a delegation of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, led by Metropolitan Joachim of Chalcedon, concelebrated the Divine Liturgy with Estonian clergy and in the presence of Archbishop John of Finland at the Church of the Transfiguration of Our Lord in Tallinn. That act marked the reactivating of the autonomous Estonian Apostolic Church. On the same day, the Chief Secretariat of the Synod of the Ecumenical Patriarchate issued an official statement. In that statement, it was announced that Archbishop John of Karelia and all Finland, primate of the neighbouring Orthodox Church of Finland, had been assigned as provisional head of the Estonian Orthodox Church. <laughs> Excommunication of the Ecumenical Patriarchate by the Russian Orthodox Church On 23 February 1996, the Russian Orthodox Church decided to declare the Ecumenical Patriarch and the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church as schismatic, to suspend canonical and Eucharistic communion with the Patriarchate of Constantinople, and to omit the name of the Patriarch of Constantinople in the diptych of the primates of the local Orthodox churches. The next day, on February 24, to justify the Ecumenical Patriarchate's decision taken on 20 February 1996, the Ecumenical Patriarchate issued a communique, and the Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew sent a letter to the then Patriarch of Moscow Alexei II. Topic. Negotiations between the Ecumenical Patriarchate and the Russian Orthodox Church The Joint Commission of the Patriarchates of Constantinople and Moscow met in Zurich on April 3 and 22 in 1996. Topic: <laughs> Agreement and Resolutions. On May 16, 1996, an agreement was reached and the communion between the Russian Orthodox Church and the Ecumenical Patriarchate was restored. Both parties agreed. 1 to let the Orthodox Christians in Estonia freely decide to which church jurisdiction they wish to belong. 2. That the Patriarchate of Constantinople would a -G -R -E -E to suspend for four months its decision of 20 February 1996 to establish the Autonomous Church in the jurisdiction of Constantinople on the territory of Estonia and committed itself, together with the Moscow Patriarchate, to cooperate in the matter of presenting their positions to the Estonian government with the objective that all Orthodox Christians have equal rights, including the right to property. This agreement de facto led to the existence of two Orthodox churches on the Estonian territory, the Estonian Orthodox Church of Moscow Patriarchate and the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church. In September 1996, it was decided to prolong the moratorium on the decision of 20 February 1996 for another three months. Other subsequent meetings between the Church of Constantinople and the Russian Orthodox Church were held in order to find a final agreement, but without much results. 
On 1 September 2000, the Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew declared he considered the 16 May 1996 decision as a decision, which allows the existence of the two parallel jurisdictions in Estonia. While the Russian Orthodox Church officially stated it totally disagreed with this interpretation of the decision by the Ecumenical Patriarch and considered that Estonia was part of the canonical territory of the Moscow Patriarchate, and that the Orthodox communities on the territory of Estonia have been a part of the Russian Orthodox Church for seven centuries. Topic. Appointment of the Metropolitan of Tallinn and all Estonia by the Ecumenical Patriarchate On March 9, 1999, a Congress of the Autonomous Estonian Church met in Tallinn to consider the fact that the Church still did not have a resident hierarch. Representatives from the Patriarchate of Constantinople were also present. The Congress decided to ask the Patriarchate to appoint Bishop Stefanos of Nazianus assistant bishop to the Greek Orthodox Metropolitan of France FR, resident in Nice to that position. On March 13, 1999, the Holy Synod of the Patriarchate of Constantinople accepted this request and elected Stefanos Metropolitan of Tallinn and all Estonia et. While announcing this decision, Patriarch Bartholomew called upon the Russian Church to recognize Metropolitan Stefan as the canonical and legal first hierarch of the Estonian Orthodox Church. The Russian Orthodox Church, surely considering the region of Estonia an autonomous part of the historical canonical territory of the Moscow Patriarchate, refused to recognize the status of Metropolitan Stefan conferred on him by Constantinople. On 21 March 1999, Bishop Stefanos was enthroned Metropolitan of Tallinn and all Estonia at the Church of the Transfiguration of Our Lord in Tallinn. Quote, quote. After which the Metropolitan began to prepare the General Assembly of the Church. The General Assembly took place on 21 June this year and the organs of the Church, the Synod church administration, and the Auditing Committee were elected there. Also the Metropolitan announced the names of the Vicars General and his Secretariat. Quote, quote. Finally, in January 2009, the Orthodox Church of Estonia established a synodal structure with the ordinations of the Bishop of Tartu Elias and the Bishop of Parnu Sarama Alexander. Topic. Aftermath After Metropolitan Stefano's enthronement, tensions continued to exist between the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church and the Estonian Orthodox Church of Moscow Patriarchate. Metropolitan Stefano's declared in 1999 and in 2002 that there could only be one local Orthodox Church in Estonia, but he does not oppose the Moscow Patriarchate turning the Estonian Orthodox Church of Moscow Patriarchate into a diocese of the Russian Orthodox Church in Estonia. According to the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church, the agreements decided at Zurich could have been the base which could have launched a constructive common future between both local churches of Estonia the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church and the Estonian Orthodox Church of Moscow Patriarchate, but according to the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church the Russian Orthodox Church did not apply those agreements decided at Zurich whereas the Ecumenical Patriarchate did, on 8 November 2000, in response to the 1 September 2000 visit of the Ecumenical Patriarch in Estonia, the Russian Orthodox Church, in an official statement, explained in details their version of the history of the 19 1996 schism. This statement also says that the Church of Constantinople had refused to hold the negotiations on 1 September 2000 for the visit of the Ecumenical Patriarch in Estonia. The goal of those negotiations would have been to put an end to the four years long confrontation between the jurisdictions of the two churches in Estonia. The official statement concluded. The establishment by the Patriarchate of Constantinople of its jurisdiction in Estonia in February 1996, the appointment of Metropolitan of All Estonia in March 1999 and the announcement made during Patriarch Bartholomew's visit to Estonia in October 2000 of the renunciation of the compromise agreements which envisage parallel presence of the two jurisdiction in Estonia speak for the consistent intention of Constantinople to usurp canonical authority 
minority in Estonia and to deprive the Estonian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate not only of the legal, but also of the canonical right of succession in the country. In 2007, D delegates from the Russian Orthodox Church walked out of theological talks with the Vatican because T he Russian Orthodox Church does not recognize the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church, and that, according to the statement by the Russian Orthodox Church thereafter, the joint participation by delegates of the Moscow Patriarchate and the so-called Estonian Apostolic Church in an official session would mean the implicit recognition by the Moscow Patriarchate of the canonical nature of this church structure. 2018 Moscow–Constantinople Schism The 1996 schism has similarities with the schism of October 2018. Both schisms were caused by a dispute between the Russian Orthodox Church and the Ecumenical Patriarchate over the canonical jurisdiction over a territory in Eastern Europe upon which the Russian Orthodox Church claimed to have the exclusive canonical jurisdiction, territory which after the collapse of the Soviet Union had become an independent state Ukraine, Estonia. The break of communion in 1996 was made by Moscow unilaterally, as in 2018. The fact that T. He 1996 schism over Estonia lasted for only three months. has raised hope in some quarters that the new 2018 Moscow Constantinople schism might also be short. A. Source at the Constantinople affiliated Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church, even declared the Russian Orthodox Church, will likely back down over Ukraine, just as it did over Estonia. However, on 15 October 2018, Metropolitan Hilarion, chairman of the Moscow Patriarchate's Department for External Church Relations, stressed in an interview that the Russian Orthodox Church did not recognize this decision back then in 1996 and do not recognize it not sick, should very probably be. Do not recognize it now. Quote, closing square bracket, dot, quote, and that the canonical crime committed by Constantinople now in 2018 after the 11th of October 2018 declaration of the ecumenical patriarchate are sick should be is much more serious in an interview given to the BBC on the 2nd of November 2018 archbishop job hierarch of the church of constantinople rejected the idea that there could be two jurisdiction over ukraine the way there is two jurisdictions in estonia stating that canonically there could be only one church on the territory of ukraine and that therefore an exarchate of the russian orthodox church in ukraine was simply uncanonical and that in ukraine there can be no repetition of estonia's scenario Topic. See also Moscow-Constantinople Schism 2018. Bulgarian Schism Eastern Orthodox Church Organization Philetism Russian Irredentism Russian Nationalism Schism of 1054 Topic. References Topic. Sources Statement of the Holy Synod of the Russian Orthodox Church 8 November 2000 by the Russian Orthodox Church The Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church by Ronald Roberson, a Roman Catholic priest and scholar. History of the Estonian Orthodox Church by the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church Brief History of the Estonian Orthodox Church also on the former official website of the EAOC by Bishop Stefanos, Metropolitan of Tallinn and All Estonia in French Topic. External links Former official website of the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church in English in Estonian in French in Russian in Greek in Finnish Current official website of the Estonian Apostolic Orthodox Church in Estonian in French Estonian Orthodox Church of Moscow Patriarchate The History Files Churches of Estonia <laughs>